Welcome to Resolve in a Rush, where you'll learn useful Resolve tips and tricks in about 5 minutes. In this episode, we're going to create a video and text effect. Here I have two clips with a cross dissolve that I'll be using for a location change. I got these clips from Pexels.com, which is a great resource for free stock photos and video. To get this started, I'll add a basic title over the clip of the plane. Then I'll type the name of the city, Antwerp, in all caps, and change the font to Babus New in bold. Then I'll increase the text size until the title fills the screen. To make the title taller, I'll unlink the zoom X and Y controls and increase the Y zoom just a bit. Now from here, there isn't a whole lot that we can do, as Resolve's titling engine is pretty basic. But I want to have the video fill the letters of the title. The first and simplest way to do this is to create a very simple overlay by going to the inspector and adding a black background to the title. Then going to the video tab of the inspector and changing the composite mode to multiply. This looks great, but results may vary if you're using a background color other than black. At this point, I can drag out fade handles on either end of the title and lay it over the transition to create a very quick and easy title transition. However, if you want to step it up a notch, there are a few other simple tricks we can do. I'll remove these fade handles, then go back to the inspector and turn off the background and reset all of the video properties. Now I'll right click on the title and choose New Compound Clip and name it Antwerp. This effectively turns the title into a video clip, which vastly increases our options for modifying the title. The only downside is it does bury the title properties inside the compound clip, so if you need to alter the title itself, you'll have to right click on the compound clip and choose Open in Timeline. From here you can adjust your title as usual, and to go back to the main timeline, double click the timeline name in the lower left corner. Now that this title is a compound clip, we can modify it in the color page. In the color page, I'll right click in the node editor and add an alpha output. Then I'll connect the alpha channel from this node to the new output. Next, I'll go to the qualifier palette and make a selection with the HSL qualifier. This will make my selection transparent, revealing the underlying clip in the timeline. Clicking this button will invert the selection. Right now, this is just another way to do what we've already done. However, if I go back to the media page and add a new bin, then right click on the Antwerp clip in the media storage browser, then I'll add it to the media pool as a mat. Back in the color page with the compound clip selected, I'll right click on the node and choose Add Mat, Timeline Mats, and then select the Antwerp clip. At first, this gives you a weird effect because the default and more common use of the mat is as a transparency mask. But I'll be using the mat for something else. I'll delete the alpha channel connection between the mat and the node. Then I'll disconnect the RGB channel between node 1 and the output. Now I'll select the RGB output of the mat and connect it to the clip output. And now I have video inside and outside the text. Now for a couple of quick notes on fine-tuning this. To quickly switch the layers, use the invert button in the qualifier palette. To slip the timing of the matte clip, make sure the matte node is selected and go to the key palette, where you'll find the offset control. At this point, you can play around with keyframing to animate the position and opacity of the title clip to create a really nice custom transition. At the time of this recording, there is a small bug that breaks any transitions underneath the compound clip. So I had to stack my clips and use fades to make it work. I also used a duplicate of the title outside the compound clip to make the text more legible. For more great DaVinci Resolve tutorials, be sure to check out RippleTraining.com, the number one resource for DaVinci Resolve certification training.